Hey Solus, Agent Solo Matt Rice here. Another week of solo board gaming goodness coming your way. All the news that I've got, um, including obviously ones that are open right now to, to fund, including this one right here. Um, and I've also got a lot of news that I've been getting a lot of advertisement through Facebook and Board Game Geek and things of new games coming up that I've sort of done a mini research on to add to this as well. So just upcoming games that either in the near future or far future, depending what they come up as. So again, if you're new to this series, I go through some solo uh, board games that are on GameFound, Kickstarter, Backer Kit, Game Crafter, um, and talk about some news at the end. I'll start with the big ones, I think, for the week. My probably, my most likely picks for the week, the first two that I'm going to go through here. First one, Tiny Epic Game of Thrones. Um, of course, this is going to be big. Um, whenever there's like an IP that's known, either, either a video game or a TV series, movie, it's most likely going to do well. Combined with the Tiny Epic series and the Game on Games, um, I think this will do quite well. It looks like it's already got 6,000 backers after just a day on um, Kickstarter. Um, it brings out two... Um, they've been doing this for a while now, but there's two small boxes. Some people argue, like, why isn't it just one medium-sized box? Um, the tiny epic is not as tiny anymore. It's more just becoming medium epic um, or multiple box epic. Um, but this one looks interesting. There is multiple modes to this, and they promote that here with four ways to play. Um, so there's competitive solo and there's crappy solo, which is what I, I would imagine a lot of you guys would be interested in. Um, the pledges for this, uh, $40 for the deluxe version. And these will come to retail, of course, as well, but I think the Deluxe doesn't. That rings a bell. Um, deluxe and Cooperative expansion together for 45 US and everything 50 US includes some miniatures, extra miniatures and characters. Um, Rado's done a good playthrough of it. A lot of people have had their hands on this. Um, I think John Gets Games has got one as well. Jason from One Stop Cop Shop. Um, <laughs> I had a watch of his and he, his went quite over the top. <laughs> he, he really got into it. Um, but you got the Lancer, the Starks, Tully, etc. Um, is there a gameplay overview competitive down here? I mean, I could go through it all the components, but I'm more interested in how it actually plays. Uh, so it's had six rounds, innovative limited action dice mix. And I think you choose like you sort of draft roll and draft dice that you choose to do the actions on. So the dice have got the actions on, and then you place it on this tile. I haven't quite understood how that quite works. And I think you can follow someone else's action. Uh, that type of game. You've got your own little board here where you can get allies with people around the map. Let's go around the map and try and get influence. You plot, scheme. You also, you know, wage war essentially on other factions. So in the competitive mode, you go up against one other AI. You just go through all the different actions here. Nice little graphics that go with it. Uh, you wish for a plot. That's the more interesting top to me how this works is card system. Um, I never got into the Game of Thrones board game from Fantasy Flight Games back in the day. Um, again, not solo. But this is my opportunity to get a Game of Thrones game that is, works well, soluble perhaps. Um, so that's the competitive mode. In the cooperative mode, you go up against the, the White Walkers um, coming through the wall. Um, Rado really loves the cold mode puzzles and things. So trust him on that. Um, but yeah, that's Tony Epic. Game of Thrones, um, I'll probably be backing this. Actually, sorry, I already have <laughs> backed this just before I started doing this. Um, I think I'll probably keep it. I'll be interested. The Tiny Epic series, I mean, my Tiny Epic Dungeons, I haven't, to be honest, I've only opened it and haven't played. I've had it for a year or so, my shelf of shame. Um, some people have been disappointed by that some things. I think it's burned them off some of the Tiny Epic series. I had um, Tiny Epic Defenders, second edition. I thought that was okay. Um, I think Marvel United probably... Um, has overtaken that um, genre now. Uh, a bit older, but um, I thought it was fine. Um, I didn't go for the 20 for Couture because I got way too much Couture. But anyway, I better get moving. I've got so many games to get through here. So that's 20 uh, Epic Game of Thrones. Next one that I think is probably my second favorite of the week is the uh, Rome Fate of an Empire solo game of the month. The solo game of the month series that Gabe has been doing. Uh, lately, um, which is pretty cool. Oh, it's like these smaller boxes of solo games. Got 888 backers so far, which I think is quite quite good for a day in, in on Game Found, by the way. Um, it's solo only, which is fantastic for us. 
Um, and I've heard Mike from um, One Stop Cold Shop say that this is a mix of um, Rezacana and Mage Knight. Um, I can see what he means by that because the card system has like the – we can't see the cards here. The card system has that like choice of like doing the basic action or the stronger action here like here. Um, I'm not sure how he can do the stronger action where you have to pay a gold to do it or something. Um, and you also like have different characters that change it. There's a basic set of cards, but then if you choose a certain character, there's two cards that are better than the other two cards. Um, and you fight over zones. Um, can't play, play a card for movement yet. Yeah. And there's like certain objectives. You draw objectives for what you've got to do um, for the game as well. So there's some replayability in it. You have like a board of your resources. They go to buy cards, put your hand here. You build developments by using certain resources, place a development, it gives you more resources essentially. It's like building up your empire. Um, and it's not too bad price 24 US. You can even get a print and play. Rolling Soil's got one as well. And there you have it. So recommend that one. Rome, Fate of an Empire. I'd have to check that one out. All right, let's move on back to Kickstarter. Kickstarter's getting a lot these last few weeks. So I've been doing these. Um, Aqua Rove, these guys, Button Shy, have uh, been putting out so many games lately. And, um, I think they've been on fire. I've never, I've never had one, but a lot of people rave about the games. Um, you know, being cheap, small, easy to travel with, and still good gameplay. One thousand four hundred fifty-nine backers. That's fantastic. Um, doing really well there. And I don't really know how this plays. <laughs> this one just come up on my list that I've seen come up. Um, so for those that have played Rob, I assume it's nothing too different. Shuffle the six new modules, shuffle the remaining 12 card visions up to create the deck. Starting mission, module card. When you play a card, you may spend those points one at a time to move any module in the UK meta. Each moving card also shows two modules. If those modules are adjacent with the card, let's play again, extra movement. Oh, okay. A bit of tactics in the way you play the cards. The pattern work. Okay. And it all comes with like a really tiny, tiny game, so it's you know great. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And who's got any once up culture has done one? I don't know who Purple Moose is, but yeah, they've done one. Yeah. Ready? So that's the one to check out on Kickstarter. Uh next one I've got here, which I'm halfway down because I think I was trying to figure out what it's all about. Etanaut. Um this one's by Pen Dragon Game Studio. Um, I think they've done a couple things that I know. Uh, great. I'm going to check what they've done. Thing board game, that's where I've heard of it. Yeah, the mm -hmm. thing which I think did all right for them. Um, anyway, let's go back. This one seems interesting. It's like a survival type game. Kind of reminds me of... Um, I don't know. I was going to say this War of Mine, but it's really toned down all the things from that. Um, Dead Winter sort of thing, but cooperative. Um, it's based on a comic book, apparently. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's not much to say about this one. I'm not sure much about this one, but it, it seems interesting. It's got story cards. It's got heaps of map cards, it said. You show you later, map. Where's how to play? Pledge levels. I'm just going down the side here. Where the hell is how to play this game? Game over here. Now, it is not use very simple game mechanics to bring you your survival experience here. You have to build up a team, gather items, fight enemies, resolve objectives, and decide how to proceed with the story. Let's see, drawing a hand here. So we to the beloved point and click games from our childhood. More unlikely heroes. So you draw out a map, you put the populated interaction system, modification number on it. Right, so you draw like a certain story card when that's happened, I assume. And there's a campaign structure to it. All right, Dice Tower's got something on it. Rado's done a little bit of view of it. Um, we've got Core Pledge 69 Euro. No reflection, 99 euro. It's getting up there. Um, all in 159 euro if you're really interested. Alrighty. That's Etanaut. Next one, I've got Power Vacuum. Uh, includes a robust solar node, which I'm 
going to go down to a tick. Uh, so it looks like this. Uh, doing 600 backers is okay. So pretty good, actually. Um, Malachi Ray Rampant. No, no much about him. Created four, four games. Nice little simple uh, footprint. It's always handy. One to five players. Uh, now, which one of you scheming can I have no good moves? We'll see. Yes, yeah, so this is like a trick-taking game, but apparently there's a solo mode for it, which is interesting for a trick-taking game. Ice card, last card activates the control board. Ice card wins the trick. Right. Reveal your agenda. Use points. Power vacuum's cards feature the suits on the backside. This makes power vacuum unique on trick takers, and that solo mode can actually emulate trick taking. Party up for your automated opponent and puzzling thing. Okay. And you can try it on Teletop Simulator. Fantastic for those that aren't sure what the solo mode's going to be like. Uh, oh, PG's got a playthrough. Fantastic. Cool. Hungry Gamer. Got one. Interesting. All right, next. Solace board game, one to five cop sci fi game. Set in the world of immortals. Uh, it's got 200 backers almost, so not a bad start. Um, it's almost funded if their funding goal is correct. Um, Luna Oak Studio has created this one. Don't know them either. Um, looks like a card game, um, legacy co op mission base. I wonder how legacy it is with this one. This one's where you can't reset. Hopefully you can. It's got a Kickstarter exclusive, so about the art in the game. What's in the box? Get a ton of cards. Game overview. Plan your actions. Okay, so you play your actions. You get like little little symbols. Okay. Excuse me. Raid the building. Each one of the building has enemies to fight or evade. So you draw a card. For the building or for enemies. Okay. Run and fight. Once the alarm sounds, reinforce will start to swarm into the building. You have to choose whether to fight the enemies or run towards the exit. So kind of run and gun style, I guess. Hmm. Upgrade your team. Yeah, it seems seems all right. What's it got here? Fifty nine euro. For the all in thirty nine euro. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, righto. Solace. Go and check that one out. Um, yeah, I'll say this is my second last one. I've got one from Graincraft I'll go through. Dragonborn Lords of Vala. Get all the expansions. Um, I have never heard of this game. And apparently it's now like its third or fourth rendition on its Kickstarter. Uh, maybe because it hasn't always been solo. I'm not sure. Now an expansion for this action program miniatures game. Um, to have to do one backers. It's halfway through there for their funding. Got some backers onto it. Um... This is done by Draco Studios. Um, and I imagine it's going to be pretty because It says it's all in for all the expansions and stuff. So 69 for the base game and epics. 99, 104. What's the biggest we've got here? All in's 240. Well, that's probably actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Got some interesting little minis in it. That must be all the expansions together. Uh, how do you play the game? Gameplay. Last space is magic strategy game for one to four players. It doesn't actually say how solo works though. I think I did have a quick flip through this before. Um how does which strategy with succeed or fail? Don't know how this works. Not a great detail on how this game really works. A few graphics, but Need a bit more of an overview of what's going on. Um, this guy from Bordy's Games has run through. That's it. Um, would be good to have more like idea of how the game plays. I know it's an expansion, though, to again, it already exists for those things. But yeah, Dragonmon, if you're into that. Uh, the one we found from Gamecraft, it's not a crowd sale, it's just a game that knows pop up. Um, Escape Death Race 2, 2182 <laughs> Micro. That's like a mint tin type game. It has one to four players. Um, and it says, welcome to the universe. You draw a card, place that many rotiles and move up that many spaces, create unique tracks, so you can destroy three sub-bosses, six characters to choose from. It's like a nice little mini game here. Reminds me of like Death Rally a little bit. 
Yeah, it's on the checkout on GameCraft if you're into that. Doesn't have too much of explanation, but that's generally what GameCraft is kind of like. Um, posted four years ago. I don't know. It just popped up on, on an Adam one, so maybe it is a bit old, this one. So maybe somewhat disregard this one. I don't know. Just giving a bit of a plug for no reason. All right, I'm up to the bit where it's just news. Um, so some things I've noticed throughout the week that is upcoming. Don't Starve the Board Game by Glass Cannon Unplugged. They're the guys that did uh, Frostpunk um, and something else. <laughs> Can't remember the other thing it is. Um, so it's claim it's got true soul on this one, a four-player roguelike survival co-op from the developers of Frostpunk, as it says there. Um, yeah, it's upcoming. Um, next one, One Hit Heroes. I've seen one stop co-op shop, and I think um, Meet Me at the Table. I've gone through this one. This one looks interesting to me anyway. This one might be one for me to get my eye out. And, um, so it's a boss butler card game. Um, if you play a single player, you can play two characters or three characters or whatever you want. You just can't play one character, I don't think. I think it runs in three minutes. Pick your play style. Discover cards for your army. So you have like these little mini packs that you open up. And as the game goes on, you can open up more packs and then you can shuffle them into your armory. Um, and apparently it says season one, so they must be seeing how they go and play more. This is going to launch sometime soon. I'm not sure if this is going to be Kickstarter or what. I don't know. Um, next one, I have Zemrock. I think this is on Game Found. Yeah, Game Found. I've seen this pop up before. This is meant to be one to six. Uh, to win your king, must balance the pursuit of personal ambition against the need to cooperate with our players to achieve a common goal, fight off the invasion. Um, why can't I scroll down and go away? Um, defeat the dreadful demon lords. Okay. Okay. Scrolling through, see what's going to meet the team. Sign up. Okay, doesn't really give away much. You just got this little picture here. Um, so you're fighting over a land, perhaps. Maybe it's, it's one of those ones where it's like semi cop. It says epic fantasy competitive, so I'm not sure how solid it's going to work here. Could be more suited for higher player count. I'm like, yes, you're way off. Next one is Rogue Seas Mighty Paladin Games. This has popped up again. This is just another ad. Something coming up. Good artwork. Pick your captain. It's on Kickstarter. Apparently, easy to learn. You can click there, get a gameplay overview, I guess. Maybe I should. This is going to do. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Should I watch be watching this video guys for a minute? I don't know. Explore, upgrade, attack. Okay. I uh, yes. Don't know what's really going on. But that's coming up. Um another big one's probably gonna come Um C1 always has big campaigns. Um I believe this one's going to be crowdfunded. It's not gonna be one of their pre order ones. It's got a war the board game, it's a one to two player game, so Perhaps more suitable for our solo people. If you follow now, you get a free gift, which looks like just a bunch of cards with nothing on it yet at the moment. Um, here's a few more commenting because it's a preview. Father and son relationship. I mean, I've never played the video game, but I know of the game. Uh, each question is just puzzles and a distinctive objective. And minis, of course, because it's the one. They love their minis. Otherwise, you know, why would they be called cool mini or not? Knows. That's what we get. Not much. Not much of an indication when it's coming. Coming out soon. Hmm. Next one, guys. Let's keep going. Uh, Cyber Pet Quest. I think this is called. Uh, three and Cold Campaign Board Game. So one to four players. We've got a dice up game. Uh, you got different types of Cyber Pets. Head play. Dear energy, once your pets turn, they get a base amount of energy. Okay, so you get your energy back up. You've got a character. Okay, you can spend energy to do certain things. I assume it's different for different characters. Spend energy to accomplish your goal. You look on the map, instant inspect objects, use items. It looks like they're in an apartment. They're going to try and get your goal. Fight and stun solid mimetic sociopaths to get them out of the way. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty full one. Dodge enemy damage or sneak. Okay, gather items and charm set for your journey. Look up your pet. Okay. Um, is this, I think, is this Maggie? I think it's 
Megan, Megan, Maggie. I got a probably got a name completely wrong. I know she's done some stuff with Rado before. You're looking for a solo cop coming game the whole family can enjoy. Well, there you go. Solo that the whole family can enjoy. If you're a solo family, you can enjoy. Let's keep going. Get me. Uh, Keystone North America is coming out with an expansion, coastal expansion. Um, pretty game. I've seen it. I haven't played it personally myself. Not solo anyway. Um, I don't know. I guess it just adds like coastal theme stuff to the game. I'm sure, what else it does? The Flames of Fafni coming up to Kickstarter. Petty Van Solo with the four players. You get a big, big, big dragon. <laughs> that's a lot of plastic. I'm sure that's where the money's going to be. Um, and it shoots fireballs or something, or shoots balls at you. So I'm not sure if it's like app thing or battery thing or how that works or what's dexterity type thing. Dexterity aren't for me those type of games. But otherwise, it's kind of tower defense. You should have stopped this dragon from throwing stuff at you and throwing it. Um, what's this at you? Yeah, here we go. Uh, one winner or everyone loses. So I guess it's kind of it's like semi co op. I don't know how solo works at this stage, but that's upcoming. Rove has been coming for about three years. <laughs> Um, I think it's, I'm not sure if it's been a convention that I'll just mention there. That's coming up the Kickstarter in May, apparently. So it's getting there. Copy of Wargame for one to four players, turn based gameplay. There's like a simple map. Um, those cards are somewhat reminiscent of Bloom. I don't know like the way the symbology is, but it's probably totally different play. Your story. Oh, that definitely looks Gloomhaven in the way they've. Yeah, they might need to change that sort of artwork. Um, true scale. That's the class stuff. That's the affinity with the elements, I guess. Hmm. The artwork looks really good. I'll agree with that. And that's what we've got. Alrighty. Um, mention about Tony Bidon's. Yeah. Um, uh, I can't find my email. I can't find it right now, but they talked about how they plan to do another expansion with Tiny Epic Dungeons, um, perhaps to address some of the issues that some people have with the game. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, Pandora Celeste is another game I've seen come up. It's on GameFound. Um, it's a claiming here. This is going to be a sci-fi type game. Card game or something. Fight to survive. Anything you do creates noise. That's one of those games you've got to stop, stop the noise, sneak around. Uh, who can you trust? Okay. About the game, here we go. Fast paced card room board game for one six players. Space survival movies plays out in roughly under two hours. 3D foldable box board. Interesting. Uh, I've got a couple left. Gems of Iridicia. Um, this one popped up on my Facebook. I asked uh, the people behind it, and they did say that it's soloable. There's a one player mode in it. Um, I'm not seeing much how this plays. These are all upcoming games, so. Gameplay. Wonderful players, there we go. Will the gems roll your way? Flipping over land holes, revealing gems in behind them, and then roll dice to mine you. This gem is died, tied to a dice value, being able to help your cause, so the gems do stuff for you. Premium quality, reviews, random board games guy reviewed it. All right. And the last thing I've got, um, a lot of people will be excited for this. Um, Earth did really well last year. Um, wasn't quite for me. I can see the benefits of Earth. Like, I just think solo-wise, I didn't see much in it. There's a lot of replayability, like different differences in each time we play, but it just came across a bit plain to me. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be putting down certain games here, but um, there's an expansion coming out for it. I know a lot of people love, love this game, so. Um, Abundance. Uh, I would have thought this would have been retail for sure because it did so well, but it's coming to Kickstarter on April 22nd, so pretty soon. Pencil that one in for you Earth geeks out there that love this game. That's all I got. Oh, my God. Oof. So, Solus, remember to crush your gaming first. Play Solus.